Hi students, welcome to this class. In this class, we study about spectrum analyzer and harmonic analyzers. Okay. So, what is spectrum analyzer? The what do you mean by spectrum? The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all type of electromagnetic radiations. So, what do you mean by radiation? Radiation is the energy that travels and spreads out as it goes. For example, you can say the visible light and the radio frequency these are all the radiations the visible light that comes from the lamp in your house and the radio waves that comes from radio station are two types of electromagnetic radiations okay now the below figure shows the electromagnetic spectrum from lowest energy the longest wavelength to the highest energy that is shortest wavelength so we just see that so you can see that uh, it is having the lowest energy and the longest wavelength and the descending of that you can see the uh, lo lowest uh, uh, wavelength and the highest energy so for example you can see for an ultraviolet ray, uh, light from the sun the wavelength is very lower but it is having the highest energy similar to the airport security scanner the wavelength is very lesser but the energy is higher so same thing uh, that is from radio waves is having the lowest energy but the wavelength is very higher and for gamma rays the wavelength is very lesser and for x-rays and all you can see the wavelength is very lesser but it is having the highest energy okay so these are all you can see the shorter shorter wavelength the high frequency and higher energy and the longer wavelength lower frequency and lower energy so the frequency is higher and the corresponding energy is higher and the frequency is lesser and corresponding energy is le uh, lower energy so this is that uh, different light you can see the visible light is being subdivided into bibgr violet indigo blue red green orange like that that spectrum hmm? okay so this is what is meant by spectrum analyzer an instrument used for the analysis and measurements of the signals throughout the electromagnetic spectrum is used to measure and analyze the signal throughout the electromagnetic spectrum a spectrum analyzer measures the magnitude of an input signal versus frequency within the full frequency range of the instruments the primary use is to measure the power of the spectrum of known and unknown signal so our primary use is to measure the power of the spectrum of known and unknown signals so so this is being measured by the frequency so you can see the input signal frequency with full frequency range of the instruments and here the frequency will be in the x axis and the magnitude will be on the y axis so based upon that we can the magnitude of an input signal versus frequency okay magnitude will be on the y axis and frequency will be on the x axis like that we can measure the magnitude of the frequency and all so we can uh, the input signal that most common spectrum analyzers measure is electrical however spectral composition of other signals such as acoustic pressure waves and optical light waves can be considered through the use of an appropriate transducer the spectrum analyzer are available for sub audio audio radio frequency measurements as well as for microwave and optical signal measurements so these are all the spectrum analyzers are available for sub audio type of uh, waves their spectrum analyzers are available audio for that the spectrum analyzers are uh, are available etc so we can say that spectrum analyzer measures the magnitude of any input signal versus frequency within the full frequency range of the instruments so what is the full frequency range of the instrument say 0 to 1000 hertz so within 0 to 1000 hertz the spectrum analyzer measures the magnitude of the input signal versus the 
frequency. The primary use is to measure the power of the spectrum of known and unknown signal. So we know a particular signal and we need to measure the power of the signal. So this signal the uh, may cause any disturbances. So we need to see the what uh, what type of signal which is causing the uh, disturbances. What is the power of that signal? So in order to analyze that one, we can use spectrum analyzer. So you can see a spectrum analyzer. So normally it is an signals and you can see the magnitude will be increasing sharply. So the frequency. So this is an hand uh, uh, portable spectrum analyzer. What do spectrum analyzers measure? Spectrum analyzers are used for many measurements including frequency response, noise, distortion characteristics of all kinds of radio frequency circuitry. So you can see the distortion in your radio frequency. Once if you uh, try to tune the uh, frequency for, for an radio FM and all for 83.5 FM or 93.5 FM like that so you, you will need to tune by using a, a tuner so that the tuner will tune corresponding to a frequency where the distortion will be lesser and that it, it, it can able to catch the corresponding radio waves so in a particular conditions in a very uh, uh, drastic environments such as in thunderstorms and all we can see that the lightning and all it causes the distortions to the radio frequency it may cause the distortions to the radio frequency and it will induce the noises and in the spectrum analyzers we can able to analyze which type of noises is causing the distortion to this frequency okay so we can able to find out which type of frequency it is whether it is uh, this frequency is generated due to lightning or any other uh, uh, telephone interferences etc any other interferences uh, etc so we need to we can able to find out the reason of that uh, how this frequency has uh, uh, so how this frequency has generated so what is the magnitude of the frequency and etc so next one occupied bandwidth and interference source in the telecommunication and basic pre compliance test for emc testing so these are all the things mainly it, it uh, uh, measure this frequency response noise and distortion characteristics of all kinds of radio frequency circuitry so main type of uh, spectrum analyzer. So, in spectrum analyzer, there are uh, mainly uh, three types. The spectrum analyzer can classified into in three basic categories in reference to their architecture. One is swept spectrum analyzer. That is swept sp spectrum analyzer. Next is video signal analyzer. That is video signal analyzer. Sorry, uh, vector signal analyzer. And next one is real time spectrum analyzer. So there are two types. One is swept analyze, uh, swept spectrum analyzer, vector signal analyzer, and real time spectrum analyzer. So first we see swept spec. Uh, swept uh, spectrum analyzer. The swept tuned super heterodyne spectrum analyzer is a traditional architect and is best suited for absorbing the controlled and static signal it is used for controlled and static signal so static signal where the signals variations are not there so so that type of static signal you can able to uh, we can able to absorb the swept spectrum analyzers makes power versus frequency measurements by down converting the signal of the inverse and sweeping it through the pass band of resolution bandwidth okay so swept uh, spectrum analyzer in, the, in this uh, swept spectrum analyzer makes the power versus frequency measurements by down converting the signal of inverse uh, interest and 
sweeping it through the pass band of a resolution bandwidth filter the resolution bandwidth filter is followed by the detector that calculates the amplitude at each frequency point in the selected span so the, uh, this method can provide a high dynamic range its disadvantage is that it can only calculate the amplitude data for one frequency point at a time see like that it can only calculate the see this is a swept uh, frequency analyzer and you can see it can calculate only one frequency at a time it is not a real time it is a swept uh, see a uh, sweep trace limit measure this like, like this also it is there and it is the swept frequency analyzer and it can calculate the frequency of a particular signal at a time only so so here it makes the down converting signal of the interest and sweeping it through the pass band of a resolution bandwidth filter so resolution bandwidth filter it filters out and it uh, it will show you the frequency in corresponding uh, magnitude bar frequency scale so resolution bandwidth filter is followed by the detector that calculates the amplitude at each frequency point in the span while this method can provide the high dynamic range its disadvantage is it can only calculate the amplitude data for one frequency point at a time consequently the measurements are only varied for relatively stable unchanging in input signals consequently measurements are only valid for relatively stable and unchanging the unchanging input signal so you can see these signals are not that much of changing it is of static in nature so like that you can able to measure the type of signals so uh, so see here in this spectrum analyzer you can able to see the you can able to see the white light white light is having the relatively less uh, wavelength compared to the red light red light you can see by the tungsten lamp emitting and barcode scanner you can also see the relatively higher wavelengths so this wavelength the amplitude of the particular and also you can see the uh, relative energy of the white light compared to the mercury vapor lamp is very much higher relative energy of the white light and also you can see the noon sunlight at 12 o'clock sunlight it is having the highest relative energy is very highest compared to your tungsten lamp and also compared to your uh, other uh, mercury vapor lamp and white led lamp the noon sunlight light is very much higher it is having the energy level very much higher but the wavelength is shorter so this type of analysis you can do by the spectrum analyzer okay so this type of analysis you can do by using the spectrum analyzer so this is the the frequency uh, in nanometer and this is the energy okay so by swept spectrum analyzer cannot uh, do the analysis of uh, visible light and led and mercury vapor lamp it can only do any one type of lights that, that is either we can select visible light or tungsten okay and it is also it is suitable for unchanging input signals and uh, so that the input signal should not change with respect to time it should be unchanged then only for the unchanging input signal we can able to calculate the magnitude the next one comes the vector signal analyzer the analyzing signals carry digital modulation require vector measurements that provides both magnitude and phase informations so it uh, this vector analyzer with produces both both magnitude and phase information vsa digitizes all the rf power within the pass band of the instruments and puts the digitized waveform into memory 
द वे फॉर्म इन द मेमोरी कंटेंट्स बोथ द मैन टूड एंड फेस इंफॉर्मेशन विच कैन बी यूज बाय डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग फॉर डी मॉडलेशन एंड मेजरमेंट्स और डिस्प्लेइंग प्रोसेस वेल द वी एस एज एंड हैज एडेड द एबिलिटी टू स्टोर वे फॉर्म्स इन मेमोरी इट इज लिमिटेड इन इट्स एबिलिटी टू एनालाइज ट्रांसेंट इवेंट्स सो दि वाट इज द मेन अडवांटेज ऑफ दिस वी एस एज इट इज डिजिटाइज वे फॉर्म इन टू मेमोरी पुट्स द डिजिटाइज वे फॉर्म इन टू मेमोरी so this is the main advantage so you can see that in it put the instruments puts the digital waveform into memory the waveform in memory contains both magnitude and phase information which can be used by dsp for demodulation so it uh, records the uh, signals it records the uh, signals and it keeps it in memory the why stores the waveform in memory it is limited in its ability to analyze transient events transient events means sudden events sudden events it cannot uh, it it cannot able to analyze it can only able to analyze the uh, uh, waveform which is being stored in its memory the serial nature of batch processing common uh, in means that the instrument is effectively blind to events that occur between the acquisition adayidu or signal na acquired acquire cheyumbo aa signals ni undaguna problems adu adu idu consider cheyilla vector signal analyzer consider cheyilla aa signal le undaguna problems endu aa or means or signal nammal acquire cheyana or transmission line le kuda current flow cheyidondirukkana appo transmission line nodu current flow cheyidondirukkumbo aa current ina aa current inde signal nammal acquire cheyidondirukkana cheyidondirukkana samayathu sudden aayite endengu oru aa oru acquire cheyidittu nammal endey thoru store cheyidu store cheyida paadu pinne adinu sudden aayite endengu oru adutha oru nano സെക്കൻഡിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു അതിന് വേരിയേഷൻസ് ട്രാൻസിൻ്റെ ഇവേർട്സ് കൊണ്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലും വേരിയേഷൻസ് വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അത് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം പിന്നെ നമ്മളത് സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്യണം അപ്പോൾ അത് അപ്പോൾ തന്നെ എന്താ പറയുക ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ അല്ല നമുക്കിവിടെ അനലൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ അതിൻ്റെ മാഗ്നിറ്റ്യൂഡ് എത്രയാണ് അത് എത്ര ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഉണ്ട് അത് എങ്ങനെയാണെന്ന് ഒരു അനാലിസിസ് ചെയ്യാനോ ഒന്നും ഇതിനെ കൊണ്ട് സാധിക്കില്ല സോ അതാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ മെയിൻ ഡിസ്അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് സിംഗിൾ ഓർ ഇൻഫ്രീക്വൻറ്റ് ഇവൻറ്റ്സ് കനോട്ട് ബി ഡിസ്കവേർഡ് റിലേബിളി സൊ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ഡിഗ്രി മേ ബി നെസറി ആൻഡ് റിക്വയർസ് ഇംപ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ പ്രീരിയർ നോളേജ് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രാൻസെൻറ്റ് ഇവൻറ്റ്സ് അതർ limitations of vsa include challenges in isolation of weak signal in presence of larger one or larger one undavumbo or larger signal undavumbo or weak signals undav aa weak signals nam large or high signals nu aite separate cheyan idine kondu sadikkilla signals okay so in the next comes the real time spectrum analyzer so it is widely used nowadays the real time uh, rsa performs signal analysis using real time uh, digital signal digital signal processing dsp that is done prior to memory storage as opposed to the post acquisition processing that is common in vsa architecture so we vsa architecture and edo or particular signal na store edite adanna ഒരു അനാലിസിസ് ചെയ്തു പക്ഷേ ഇതെന്ത് ചെയ്തു ഇത് റിയൽ ടൈം റിയൽ ടൈം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇപ്പം തന്നെ നമുക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും ട്രാൻസെൻറ്റ് സിഗ്നൽ ഒരു ജനറേറ്റ് ചെയ്താൽ ആ ട്രാൻസെൻറ്റ് സിഗ്നൽസ് ജനറേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത ട്രാൻസെൻറ്റ് സിഗ്നൽസിന് എത്ര ആണ് വരുന്നതെന്ന് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും അതിൻ്റെ ആംപ്ലിറ്റ്യൂഡ് എത്ര ആണ് അത് ഏത് ടൈമിലാണ് അത് അക്വർ ചെയ്ത് ഒക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു റിയൽ ടൈം സ്പെക്ട്രം അനാലിസിൽ കാണാൻ പറ്റും ദ റിയൽ ടൈം the real time uh, processing allows the user to discover the events that are invisible to other architects and to trigger on those events allowing their selective capture into memory the data in memory can be extensively analyzed in multiple domains using using batch batch processing the real time dsp engine is also used to perform signal conditioning calibrating and certain types of analysis so idile dsp ubhichittu digital signal processing ubhichittu aa signals na or analyze cheyan pattum adine magnitude etra frequency etra adine phase angle etra nu mottham idile kaanan pattum 
सो करेक्ट आईटे यू कैन एबल टू दि क्यालिब्रेट दि सिग्नल सो वाट यू मीन बै क्यालिब्रेशन क्यालिब्रेशन इज फाइंडिंग औट दि एर इन ए पर्टिक्युर्ग्नल बै कंपेरी दि नार्मल सिग्नल मीन कंपेरी दि प्यूर् सिग्नल The harmonic analyzer calculates the total content of the sine wave. So next we have seen the real-time spectrum analyzer, vector signal analyzer, and swept uh, spectrum analyzer. So this completes your uh, uh, this portion that is spectrum analyzer. Okay. Now we see about the okay now we see about the harmonic analyzer harmonic analyzer calculates the total content of the a sine wave with some distortion expressed as total harmonic distortion a typical uh, the harmonic analyzer is an analyzer which calculates the total harmonic content of a sine wave or sine wave le etra harmonic content undu ennalad calculate cheynadana harmonic analyzer so harmonic analyzer is with some डिस्टोष चु डिस्टन सो इधा और हारमोणिक और हाडल वे हारमोणिक अनलसर सो इवे करंटि और प्रोब का क्लां मीटर का सो इतने वे नमुक रियल टाइम अरंट पे हारमोणिक सो ई रीती का सो इन यू कैन सी तेड्ड फिफ्त सवेंत लवन तेटीन सवेंटी नयन हारमोणिक and you can see the output current is pure sine almost sine wave so this is that the harmonic content of a sine wave is some distortion expressed as total harmonic distortion a typical application is to determine thd of an amplifier by using a very low distortion sine wave input and examine the output to verify is very uh, thd of amplifier by using a very low distortion sine wave which is using as input and as i mean the output the figure measured which include noise and any contribution from imperfecting the imperfect filtering out the fundamental frequency so what it uh, sees is it uh, so this harmonic analyzer will measure the noise signal and it will uh, filter out the fundamental frequency that is fundamental frequency ne eduthu kalanje aa fundamental frequency il enda irukna aa or harmonics mathram id endeyum id analyze cheyum the harmonic by harmonic measurements without wide band noise can be measured by complex wave analyzer complex or harmonic by harmonic measurements vanange complex aitla vanange namukku wave analyzer le inde adu venam cheyya harmonic analysis le athra velle complex analysis unnala or or particular signals le undavuna or harmonics endana harmonics varnal harmonics is equal to the frequency say we are having a frequency fundamental frequency 50 hertz so ee 50 hertz le or sine wave vale undavum paallulo और सैन वेव और सैन वेव फिफ्टी वेड्स और सैन वेव सो अम प्रश्न पॉइंट जीरो टू सैकंड अद और फिफ्टी हेड्स इफ यू हाव थ्री टाइप ऑफ सैन वेव अद टाइम ड्यूरेशन अंट जीरो टू सैकंड वि आर् हाविंग थ्री टाइप ऑफ सैन वेव so that we call as the third harmonics actually the harmonic is a fundamental harmonics is the first order of harmonics fundamental harmonic le or sine wave le sine wave adana mundu first order first order harmonics nu parayum aa adhe sine wave rendu vattam repeat cheyidhu kenjale second order harmonics nu parayum adhe sine wave moonu vattam or particular time period adhe point 02 seconds le moonu thavana ore sine wave repeat cheyyanu ओर सैकि मू मू सैकल वे अर सैकि जीरो टू सैकंडस और सैकि वे अंडमेंटल हारमोणिक्स पर जीरो टू सैकंडस मू सैन वे मू सैकल इवे वाणी अगर तेर्ड ऑर्डर हारमोणिक्स पर सो इव हारमोणिक्स नोर्मली नेग्लिजिबल आर्ड हारमोणिक्स कूड़ा सीवियर 
സോ അതാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇവിടെ കാണുന്നത് ലെവൻത്ത് തേർഡ് ഓർഡർ ഫിഫ്ത്ത് ഓർഡർ സെവൻത്ത് ഓർഡർ ലെവൻത്ത് തേർട്ടീൻത്ത് സെവൻറ്റീൻത്ത് നയൻറ്റീൻത്ത് സോ ഇതൊക്കെ ഓഡ് ഹോർമോണിക്സ് ആണ് ഓഡ് ഹോർമോണിക്സ് ഇസ് ദി വെരി സിവിയർ കമ്പയർ ടു ദി ഈവൻ ഹോർമോണിക്സ് ഓക്കെ ദ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദി ഡിസ്ട് so next after that in the, in the tomorrow class in the upcoming class we study in detail about this harmonic analyzer okay bye